Welcome back to AC3D CAD. Today, we are going to create a ruler stud using AutoCAD 2018. Let's start working on a 3D environment by clicking this drop down arrow beside this uh, gear icon and click 3D modeling. On the status bar, also make sure that your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, and object snap. Our goal is to create this 3D model I did earlier. I'm just going to grab this reference drawing with dimensions. Start from front view, grab circle from the ribbon. Type D for diameter option and enter 57.15, which is the biggest dimension here or the limit. Right click to repeat circle and enter D for diameter option and the dimension here is 44.45. Smallest cylinder is 28.58 D and enter 28.58. Now I'm going to turn this drawing to southwest isometric. I'm just going to turn off the grid and extrude the smallest circle to. 102 minus 21 minus 25 is 56 and this middle one extruded for which is here 25 I'm just gonna move this circle from the center to the back and extrude this one for 21 units I'm going to turn this to back view. Now I'm going to create a rectangle with a width of 32. And um, the length should be some something bigger than the diameter of the biggest circle. So we'll use 100 units I'm just gonna move this one and attach it here make sure this one snaps to the center over here Now I'm going to extrude this one. As you can see here, the thickness is 6. So extrude this one for 6. So I'm going to subtract this rectangle from this cylinder to create an indentation. So subtract command from the ribbon, click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to remove. I'm going to turn this to front view. 
now I'm gonna create another rectangle which is 42 units length and bring it down for maybe just enough to cover the biggest circle so maybe a hundred now I'm gonna move this one in here the center and extrude it up to this quadrant so which is 25 units so go back to the ribbon and select press pull command and just grab that highlighted part of the circle or cylinder and click same process here press pull command again and as you can see here the distance is 32 from this point to this point minus 25 is 7 so I'm gonna use press pull command and enter seven units. Turn the other side and seven units. Our next step is to create this flat surface. Change this to 2D wireframe. Grab line from the ribbon shift right click and select quadrant bring down your cursor for five units as shown here and bring it to the right just outside the cylinder i'm just gonna copy that delete that change this to conceptual turn this around I'm gonna use press pull command again to create this indentation highlight that bring it in for 24 units now I'm just gonna use construction line here now we have to change the direction of our UCS by pointing the Z upward to make it parallel to the direction of the hole that we are going to create so grab circle from the ribbon click the midpoint and enter type D for diameter option and enter 8 I'm just gonna delete that grab the circle extrude it and select subtract command from the ribbon select the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to remove i'm just gonna delete that to combine these three objects use union command from the ribbon I'm just gonna move that and select the unwanted objects type materials I'm just gonna select plate reflective beige change this to realistic for it to work and here is our roller stud uh, please don't forget to subscribe 
comments and click the link below for exact dimensions. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.